Hello, hello, and welcome to another episode of the Craftsman Creative Podcast. Today is an exciting one because I am going to be recording through this podcast every single chapter of my next book as I write them. So I'm writing in public again, like I did with my last book, Craftsman Creative. But for this book, I'm going to do it not only on the newsletter and on the blog, but also here in the podcast. So that is an addition. The reason being, I never recorded an audiobook for my last book, and I know a lot of people wanted one, and I never got around to it. I actually started one day, um, but that's beside the point and the story for another day. So for the next 30-odd episodes of this podcast, you're going to be listening to chapters of my book, the very first draft versions of them, sometimes the rough versions of them, because the way I write, the way I work, I tend to just get the work out there and onto the page and out into the world so I can get feedback. And then I can always edit and make it better later. So that's been my method for everything I write, my screenwriting, my books, my blogs, my newsletter. Uh, It's rare that I ever even go back and edit my newsletter because I've just kind of the point where after writing a thousand things or however many things I've written, I can do this stuff. So let's dive in uh, without much more preamble. This is the introduction today to my next book. So I will say this probably every time, but if I don't, it's a given. I would love your feedback on every single one of these chapters. So if you're way into giving feedback, then you can literally email me after every chapter. If you had one that resonated, I'd love to hear that it resonated and that it was an awesome listen for you. If there was one where it's confusing or you got stuck or you weren't really clear what I was saying or I wasn't clear in what I was saying, let me know that too because you are all of now (laughs) by proxy or by default my beta readers of this book. And so the book will be better for having your uh, feedback. So please just email me at darren at craftsmancreative.co and I read and often respond to every single one. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't have any official, this is audible and like written by, written by Darren Smith and recorded by the author. Uh, But there we go. That's my rough version of that. This is the introduction to my next book, Blockbuster, expand your creative business to seven figures and beyond. Creators are my people. I've spent my entire 17 plus year career working with creators, artists, filmmakers, musicians, and entrepreneurs. People who create art, who cultivate ideas, and share them with the world in order to make it a better place to live in. I write this during the rise of AI in 2023. Chat GPT is all the rage. Writers and creators are losing their jobs as apps and bots and LLMs replace them on a scale we've never seen before. And there's turmoil in creative industries from marketing to Hollywood. The Writers Guild of America has been on strike for six weeks now, and the Screen Actors Guild is ready to join in if they can't come to terms with the AMPTP and the studios by the end of this month. It's messed up. (laughs) Now, I'm staunchly independent, both politically and when it comes to my creative pursuits. I like having control deciding who to work with, how much I charge, and how the project pans out in the end by maintaining as much of the decision-making power as possible. My creative businesses run on email rather than social media networks and their algorithms. The movies I produce are independent, so the creative vision is maintained from script to screen. Now, this independence may never make me a billionaire, but who gives a crap? (laughs) I'm in the lifestyle business. I want financial freedom, which doesn't require eight or nine zeros, by the way. I want freedom over my time, freedom to choose what projects and people I work on and with in that order, and a life-work balance that's in that order. Life first, work second. I have found out how to create those conditions for myself, and I want that for you as well. I want more creators thriving, succeeding, and leaving a positive impact on the world around you. Over my career, I've been a performer, jazz saxophone if you're curious, a sound engineer working with bands like Neon Trees, Imagine Dragons, and more, 
I've been a post-production sound editor and designer working on independent films and projects for the BBC, ITV Global, BYU TV, CBS Sports, and a dozen or more Fortune 100 companies. But my current passion is working as a film producer. I produced four seasons of the number one rated TV show on BYU TV. It's called Relative Race, Go Team Green. And then I left that gig to go and produce feature films. The first film was with Amy Redford. She was the director of a movie called What Comes Around, written by Scott Organ and starring Grace Van Deen, Summer Phoenix, Kyle Gallner, and Jesse Garcia. It premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival in 2022, and it was purchased by IFC Films. The other two films I've produced, I did them in 2022, Give Me Your Eyes and The Carpenter. The latter filmed in Cape Town, South Africa, and it showed me that this definitely is the work I want to devote my life to for the foreseeable future. In 2020, I started coaching and consulting business for creators called Craftsman Creative. And in 2022, I wrote the book by the same name, helping creative entrepreneurs build six-figure businesses. I've been working with thousands of creators through my consulting, my community, as well as my book, newsletter, and this podcast. The greatest reward from all of it is hearing that someone got my book, applied what they learned, and got the results they desired and had been working so hard for before that. That's really what drives me and is the impact that I seek to have by doing this work outside of my full-time film producing. So I should answer the question, why this book right now? This book is different. It's an extension of that first book in some ways, but it also has a different goal and a different audience in mind. I'm talking about the creators who want to have a bigger impact on the world, who want to or who have already built businesses with everything that entails, employees, equipment, overhead, clients, and the like. These business owners have been in the trenches for longer. The stakes are higher. The impact they desire is greater. But they are currently trapped by their businesses. They work six days a week, 60 hours or more, before, during, and after, quote-unquote, working hours, whatever those are. They're trapped in the day-to-day of their business. They're doing the technical or artistic work of directing, filming, editing, writing, designing, consulting, freelancing. They're shackled by the golden handcuffs of the high-paying clients who aren't the people they actually desire to serve, but they pay the bills and keep the lights on. They don't have time to think about the business and identify the constraints or see what to change, see how to improve it. Their relationships are strained, they're stressed and overworked, and they don't see an end to any of it. Now, if any of that resonates, I'm really glad we found each other. Because there are answers, there are solutions, and there's a better world on the other side of a little bit of work on your business that I will outline in the pages of this book. This book is a blueprint, not just a collection of ideas. You'll identify where you are now, where you want to be, and you'll design a path to get there that's personalized to you and your business. There's something that happens when you implement everything we cover in this book, like flicking on a light switch. Not only is everything illuminated, but you can see the way forward, and you have the ability to navigate the journey ahead of you. On the other side, it's a profitable, oversubscribed lifestyle business, one that pays you well, even if you take or even if you take a month or dare I say two months off, one where you're doing the work you love, not just the work that pays. Your business will be changed forever. You'll finally have the profit you need to invest in growing your team, buying new equipment, expansion, acquisition, and more. You'll finally be able to have the impact you want to have on the world with your creative work. In order to have that massive impact, you need a highly profitable and popular business. Without that profit, there's no impact. This book will help you build the business that allows you to have the massive impact you want to have on the world. But it doesn't happen on its own. 
No one got a call to come in and fix your business for free because you bought or are reading or are listening to this book. It does rely on you, but the promise here and now is you can do it. It will be hard at times. It will seem impossible, but I promise it's worth it. And again, you can do it. I've worked personally with hundreds of creative business owners and with thousands through my writing, speaking, and short interactions online. The blueprint laid out in this book works if you work it. Don't be the one who sets this book down now and never returns. Read the next chapter and the next and the next. Then do the work. Your business changes through your implementation, not just the gathering of more information. Commit to doing the work, and I promise you can build your very own blockbuster business, highly profitable and massively impactful. All right, there's the intro to my next book, Blockbuster. Uh, It's kind of fun reading it out loud. That's the other reason I'm doing this podcast is because many authors have told me you need to read your writing out loud, and why not just do it in real time and make content out of it as well, right? Um, Many, many people have said they're enjoying this podcast, and I'm really looking forward to your feedback on this next, let's call it a series of chapters from my next book. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I'd love to hear your feedback especially if it's critical. I need the criticism and I need the feedback in order to improve the book and make it better for everyone who's going to ultimately get it and read it in the future. So thank you so much for listening. Um, There will be many times throughout this book where the call to action is to go take the free scorecard at scorecard.craftsmancreative.co. So please go take the scorecard, figure out where your business is right now, and then we'll help you define where you want to go, and how to get there, not only through Craftsman Creative, but through this book over the coming weeks and months. Thanks again, and we'll see you next week.